90.3 FM KEXP and streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Morgan. I am happy to be down in the live room, joined now by Hamilton Lighthouser. Welcome. Hi. Thanks oh. for having us. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. We'd love to hear a couple songs. All right. Here we go. This is You Ain't That Young Kid. First night in June in a very crowded room. Ben was going on when he told me we were done. So I couldn't play the tunes because I wrote it about you. Always seems to come back to you. But I don't have to tell you. You heard it all by now. Just one. Single voice in a choir. You won't hear me anymore, just the bassist. Thumb in a tune. And then rumble. Reminds me of you. All the flash, all the fire, all the foggy drums perspire. We were tucked into a booth in a far corner of the room. And the music was loud It was just bringing me down Cause I know That I lost you Well, the parking lot was dark When I walked out of the bar Found some folks hanging around And we're on some highway now And the windows are down And I never felt so sad so I just try not to think about you The final spot of sunlight Is dying on the dash On some way too long a road With some way too young folks If the man that you need Honestly wasn't me Tell me honey There's a letter I wrote That I never said Where am I in my wee minute And I asked to see again Yeah, I heard you sigh Someone you call friend in a letter I wrote that I'll never send. You in a green dress 
right, that was You Ain't That Young Kid. Off my record, uh, I had a dream that you were mine. And here's the sort of title track from that. I had a dream that you were mine. I've had that dream a thousand times, a thousand times, a thousand times. I've had that dream a thousand times. Lighthouser live here on KEXP, the new record, I Had a Dream That You Were Mine. Hamilton Lighthouser playing two sold-out shows tonight at the Tractor Tavern here in Ballard in Seattle. And uh, Hamilton Lighthouser, thank you again so much for being here. It's nice to have you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. The new record sounds great, and it's uh, a collaboration between you and Rostam, uh, formerly of Vampire Weekend. How did you end up collaborating with Rostam on this record? Uh, he called me a couple years ago when he had heard through a mutual friend that I was working on music outside of the Walkman, and he asked me if I wanted to try working on music together, and he, he happened to live right down the street from me, so I went over and 
and we tried it out and we came to be friends really quick and uh, we wrote music the first day that we met that actually made it onto this record. Cool. How long did the process take of making this record? What was the, uh, what was the whole it process? It took a while. It? it was pretty steady, but he lives in Los Angeles and I live in New York and I would always have to fly out there and then we would um, take, you know, like six weeks off after every session that we did. So it sort of stretched over like two years. Mm -hmm. And this is your second solo album since The Walkman. What's the, uh, what do you feel is the difference between making these solo albums and then your work with The Walkman before that? Well, uh, I mean, there's a lot of differences. Uh, you, you, you know, you're, you, you don't have your buddies around to work on stuff, but you don't have to worry about everybody else's schedule. Yeah. We all had, like, kids, and we lived in different cities, so, like, just getting everybody into the same room becomes, like, a big deal after a while. Yeah, totally. And uh, this new record, it sounds very modern, but it also has a lot of elements of uh, mid-century, 20th, 20th century sound, that, that's 50s, 60s sounds. How did you end up uh, landing on, on that sound? Uh, just trial and error, just me and Rostam kind of screwing around in the studio. Yeah. Um, you know, just seeing what was funny or fun at the time or something. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, what were your influences growing up? What kind of music did you listen to? I grew up in Washington, D.C., and, uh, there was a lot of, like, punk and post-punk kind of music there. Fugazi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I went to a lot of their shows. Nice. Um, and, uh, so that was probably, like, the earliest thing that I was into, but a lot of other stuff. I Like Leonard Cohen, I discovered very early and I still listen to, and Roy Orbison I discovered very early and I still listen to him all the time. Mm -hmm. And since today is uh, the women marches all over the world, uh, who are some of your favorite female artists? Well, there's a lot right now that are so great, actually. Um, well, Angel Olsen, I guess everybody's into Angel Olsen. Oh, and yeah. I, I think, yeah, she, yeah, she's really great. We have this girl Lucy Dacus coming with us in a couple of weeks that's really good. Mm -hmm. Um who else? Is, oh, I really like that Karen O record that she put out recently. The that, solo one? Yeah. Yeah, that was great. songs. I thought that was really good, too. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. But it seems like if you look at all the pop stars, aren't like all the, like the top pop stars, aren't they basically all women at this point? For the most part, except for what, Justin Bieber? Right, but he's not <laughs> like the top, right? He's not like Beyonce or like Katy That's Perry, true. right? Yeah. There are no like kings of pop right now. They're all queens of pop, which it is awesome. It sort of seems like that. I was just noticing that the other day. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you so much again for being here. We'd love to hear a couple more songs. Yeah, our pleasure. We're going to do this one called In a Blackout. I live in a nameless town No need to wander around I live in a nameless town Blackout Many friends have said goodbye Buried out in one crowd line I say they all just lost their mind Midnight, well, we used to dance Underneath the ugly house When the 
Hamilton Lighthouser live on KEXP. All right, we got one more for you here. This is the second song on my record. It's called Sick as a Dog. One, two, Sick as a Trump Trump. Your words had lost me, yeah, but your voice sounds nice. Sing to me slowly, blow me some smoke, I don't mind it in.
Hamilton Lighthouser live on KEXP. The new record, I Had a Dream That You Were Mine, is out now. Highly recommend picking this up. And he's playing two sold-out shows tonight at the Tractor Tavern. So hopefully you have your tickets to that. Hamilton Lighthouser, thank you so much for being here this thank afternoon. Thank you very much for having me. You guys have a great new place here. Thank you so much. Is that your grandma's KEXP? <laughs> That's true. It's uh, it's more like we won the lottery and we got to have nice new things. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much again for being here. And uh, would you mind uh, introducing your band that played with you? Today? Yeah, this is uh, my brother-in-law, Nick Stump, on the uh, keys over there. This is Greg Roberts on the bass and Steven Patterson on the drums over there. Cool. Well, have a great time at the tractor tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. We you will. Town. All right. Nice to see you all. Excellent. Keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters, KEXP Seattle. Discover great music at kexp.org.